The sun's getting a bit hectic on this mountaintop, so excuse the sunglasses. As I said before, my favorite philosopher is Scher, and my second favorite is Carlos Castaneda. And one of the things he said, amongst many things, is that all paths lead to nowhere, so find a path with heart. So it occurred to me that, you know, often we set goals for ourselves. Um, we uh, we have a we we set it up. We know what we want in life. Now, very often we don't achieve those goals, and this is kind of what we call a results-based thing. So, if you're going to one day take stock of your life and look back and say. How many goals did I achieve that I set out to do? I think the score sheet's going to be pretty dismal against you. So it's not healthy to to just base your life on what you achieved and the results that you got. A more healthy perspective would be to to be more process and journey orientated. Because it's all about the journey, and, you, and the magic moments happen in the journey. Yes, you might not always achieve what you wanted to, but that might not be your path, because you don't know what your path is. There's a divine map. Whether the good and the bad come with it, it all leads us somewhere, and probably in most cases we wouldn't have it any different because we think we know what's good for us. And if we set goals, we're actually limiting ourselves because there's even more available out there for us that the divine, that the creator wants us to have, the joy that it wants to give us. And let's talk about what happens when you do achieve your goals. In my experience, they often lead to disappointment and disillusionment. Why? Because the goal I had in my mind when I get it doesn't exactly play out how I wanted it to or how I thought it was going to play out. I mean, let me ask you, you wanted to get married. It was a goal for most of us. 20 years down the line, how's that working for you? you want out of the marriage? Are you suffering in the marriage? So how's that working out for you? You want children? You know, when they hit their teenage years in the dark tunneling, they become real little shits. And you say, why did I put myself through? Why did I leach all the calcium out of my body so that this person can be rude to me? So maybe that perfect childhood that you think you were going to give them didn't happen either. So you want a 10 bedroom house. Okay, that's beautiful. Nice goal. But when you get the 10 bedroom house, it comes with complexity. You need handymen, you need gardeners, you need maids. Um, there's always something going wrong in a house like that. So suddenly this house that is that, that you wanted has become a bit of a millstone around your neck and it costs you a lot. So did that, how did that pan out for you? And we can do, we can run this, this story everywhere. Nothing I think has panned out for most of us as we wanted it to. And also once we, we hit a goal, I suppose we get a little bit of a dopamine rush and that's pretty awesome. But then that rush wears it off and now we want the next kick and this one's not good enough anymore so we want the next kick and the next kick and the next kick so yeah it is a never-ending saga until the end it's never ending so i don't know what more to say but find a path with heart 
and they will rip parts apart. And there's also no affront to others if you decide to get off a path. Because the point of this exercise is to express the divine and the divine wants us to live in joy, to live in harmony, to live in peace with each other, to experience this life as it is. And he created this for us so that we can be enchanted by it, so that we can witness the majesty of this creation, so that we can live in a magnificent way. So get off a path if it doesn't suit you. There's no affront to it. And don't worry about what people think about you, because ultimately, you have to account for yourself, to yourself, sorry, and you have to account to your maker. That's it in the final analysis. So go out there, find a path with heart, and do something magnificent with a short time that you've been given on this planet.